Sales Tax Rates Setup For new users of Maxtrax Pro CE, certain system settings are critical before you begin to use the program. Among those critical items is a Sales Tax rate Setup. From the menu bar, click Setups, select Accounting and Payroll from the drop list, and click Sales Tax Rates from the side drop list to open the Sales Tax Rates Definitions window. New users should see three pre-existing rates, DEF for default sales tax, NT for non-taxed, and RES for resale. To set your local sales tax rate, highlight the default rate and click the Edit button below, or we could just double-click on the rate itself to open the tax rate record. This existing sales tax rate has DEF for default sales tax as the tax code in the system already. And you can edit this if you like, as well as a state province district description. Let's enter my local sales tax rate, 8.75, and click OK. Note that changes to sales tax rates will not be applied to open repair orders or parts invoices unless you edit them and reselect the tax rate. I'll show you how to do that later on, but let's first create a new sales tax rate from scratch. And this sales tax will break down the component tax rates of a sales tax, which is required in Canada. So let's pretend to be a repair shop in Colorado Springs. Click the Add Tax Rate button, and let's give it a code of CO, and enter Colorado for the state, province, district description. Now the sales tax rate for Colorado Springs is 7.4%. Their sales tax is comprised of a city, state, county, and transportation tax totaling the 7.4. Now we could simply enter one tax rate, like in our first example, or you could enter the sales tax percentages for each sales tax type, in this case, four tax types. And as I mentioned, shops in Canada are required to break down the multiple levels of their sales tax rate and print them out on their invoices. We'll need to activate each additional tax type by checking the box to use this tax which will activate the entry fields. Now let's enter the percentage amount for each section along with the description that will print out on the invoice as if we were in a region that requires we print out that breakdown. Our first description will be Colorado Springs City. Remember to enter the rate as a percent, not as a decimal. In other words, if your city sales tax rate is 2.5%, type in 2.5 instead of 0 .025, and the percent sign will take care of itself. Let's enter the state percentage and label it Colorado State, and enter in 2.9. The county is El Paso County, and the county rate is 1%, and the transportation tax rate, let's call it TT, is 1%. These four tax types total the 7.4%. Let me note here that you will need to select to print the sales tax breakdown under the Repair Order and Parts Invoice Setup section if your taxing district requires that you print out the multiple tax levels. Otherwise, the system will track and report the tax breakdown amounts internally, but it will only print the sales tax as a single amount on your repair orders and parts invoices. Once your rates are set correctly, click the OK button to save your entries. The Delete button will remove any of the sales tax rates from the table, however, they are never permanently gone. To see any sales tax rates that have been deleted, check the Show Inactive Tax Rates box above in the upper left, and should you need to restore a deleted tax rate, right-click on that sales tax rate and click Undelete Tax Rate from the drop list, and the rate will be reactivated. Let's just click the Delete button and remove this one again. In the default column, the sales tax with the pointing finger is currently the default sales tax used for all invoices. To select a different tax rate to be the default rate, Right-click in the default column on the sales tax rate that you want to be the new default tax and select Set as Default from the drop list. You will now see the pointing finger to the new default sales tax rate. So let's click Close. And note, if you are using data converted from motor tracks, 
After you set up your sales tax rate, you will need to reselect the sales tax setting under the miscellaneous link on each RO. Let me show you how. And this concludes the lesson on sales tax rates setup.